The last time I made a video on anime upscaling, many people asked me if there was a way to export it so they can watch it on their TVs or copy it onto their phones or send a better quality version of the anime to their friends or family, who does not have a powerful enough GPU that can upscale anime in real time. So Videoproc reached out to me asking me to check out their upscaling tool and after checking it out, I think I can say that this is a great piece of software that works and is exactly what a lot of people were asking for. Yes, this video is sponsored by Videoproc, but everything I do and say in this video is my own volition. I'll talk more about video proc at the end of the video and here's a tutorial on how to upscale anime using the video procs converter AI tool. So I'll be doing a quick walkthrough of the video proc converter AI tool. It's a pretty easy to use tool but I'll still be going over how to upscale anime to 4k and export it using this tool. So the first thing I'm going to be talking about is obviously the super resolution feature. Uh, you can also use the frame interpolation feature if you're someone who likes 60 fps anime. Personally I'm not a fan but if you're someone you can use it and there's also the stabilization feature which is primarily used for real world footage if you're someone who uses it for anime i don't really think it's necessary actually you shouldn't be doing it but if you are someone who uses real footage it is useful but today we're going to be focusing primarily on the super resolution feature and uh, if you press on it this is where you will be so on the left side there's a button you can press and it'll open up the explorer and you can choose the video file that you want to upscale it's actually not just video file you can also use the image file if you want to upscale an image for me it's going to be nyan pasu because it's a legendary clip and uh, i just want to upscale it and enjoy it in 4k so i'm just going to be opening it and the first thing when you notice when you open it is that you'll have two different images so on the left side it's going to be the original image and on the right side it's going to be the upscaled image and uh, on top here on top left if i press on here i'll also get a slider uh, which i can use to see the upscale in real time for example, if I slide it all the way to the right, on the right side, it'll show me the upscaled image. And on the left side, it'll show me the normal image. So that's that. And under that, I'll also have a slider that you can use to select up to where you want the export to be. And you can also try playing the video. It's going to be quite slow. So I don't think it's really worth attempting unless you have a super a powerful GPU like the RTX 4090 or the Titan. So on the right side, we have the GPU section where you can use what GPU you want. Obviously, you need to be using the most powerful GPU you have. And under that, there is an option called type. And in here, you need to be selecting anime because if you are, I mean, obviously, if you are upscaling anime and we are going to be upscaling anime, so I'll be selecting anime here. And under that, there is an option called denoise level. So personally, I think for anime, this is not really useful, so I'll just keep it at low or none if you wanted to i'll just keep it at low and under that there's another option called scale so this is the primary option you need to be doing uh, scale works in a way that the maximum it's going to output is going to be 4k so for example here i have 1080p clip so it's going to be upscaling it to 4k and that is two times so 1080p two times is 4k or 2160. if i am doing a 480p clip i'll be getting options for three times and four times and under that uh, we also have a option called enhanced video and image so for example if you don't need something as insane as 4k uh, you can use the one times upscale which will make the image a little bit sharper and a little bit cleaner uh, but it will not do something as clean as two times uh, and under that there's an option called the interlacing this is also a feature i don't think that's necessary or personally i would not use for anime uh, because it messes up with frame rates and i'm not a fan of that and under that we have options for the video codec so the video codec is h264 the standard if you need you can try hevc but H.264 is more than enough for me. And quality level. This is where you can select what type of quality that you need for your encode. For me, I'll keep it at high, which is a default. Uh, if you need, you can select uh, low, medium or highest if you need the highest quality. And the GOP is not something you should be messing with. And I think keeping a default is more than fine. And under that, there's an option called the output folder, which is obviously where your encode is going to be after you finish encoding. So just press the browse button and keep it somewhere 
you can find and this is how easy the software is to use and also you can add more media if you need a batch encoding to be running so yeah that's there and uh if you didn't notice there's a big run button down there so you can just press on that and uh it'll do its thing so do keep in mind that this is going to take a very long time depending on how much gpu power you have so uh, yeah it really does depend on how powerful your gpu is going to be and after the encode is done you will uh, get this in your folder and you can just play the file and see the difference for yourself i'm not going to be playing this more because i'll just show it up on screen So that's how we upscale anime using Videoprox AI tool. It is a great software that comes with not just upscaling features, but also cool AI features like interpolation and video stabilization. If you are interested in Videoprox Converter AI tool, you can try out these AI features with a free full version license for up to 180 days. That's six months trial where you can check out the software and make up your mind. And if you do decide to purchase Videoprox Converter tool, this is an amazing time to do so because Videoprox is currently running their Christmas sale. Where you can save up to 67% off, which will get you a lifetime license for only $29.95. Yes, that's a one-time license and there are no subscriptions. Also, don't forget that this includes practical features like video and image conversion, compression, screen recording, and more. And if you're a Mac user, you guys can also take advantage of this discount by buying the software now and getting the AI features update later down the line. Anyway guys, that's all for this video. Hopefully this video helped you out. Like this video if you think this video was good. Subscribe to the channel if you like my content. And if I do not upload another video before Christmas, Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays.